I'm Joel. And I'm Michael. And we're bums on a boat. For the last two years, we've been living here in Luperon, Dominican Republic, where we've done a massive amount of work to our 50-year-old sailboat. We were just finally ready to start traveling again when this lockdown happened and put us back into project mode. If you're new here, subscribe and ring that bell because we're just about to catch you up with a little game called Two Truths and a Lie. And if you're a veteran viewer, this is going to be way too easy for you, but it's going to be fun. These are the tales of Boab. All right, guys, two truths and a lie. It's a pretty easy game if you've never played before. I'm going to make three positive statements and you have to guess which one's the lie. Also, I have to be a little uncomfortably close in order to hide the truth. So number one, we painted the boat pink. Number two, the toilet is finally working perfectly. Number three, we're planning a 12 day passage to Grenada. If you want to participate, you have to pause the video right now and make your guess in the comment section. And we're back. Let's reveal the truth. Not even getting her hopes up, she knows. Not this time, Lola. Not this time, old girl. Bye, Michael. Bye, Lola. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Here's where we've been keeping our motorcycle. Ooh, there's a Lola hair on the camera. So there's where we've been keeping our motorcycle. We're here at the patio. A friend of ours, Andrew, owns this restaurant and he is a sponsor of Bums on a Boat. Okay, so today we have a very sneaky little thing planned. I'm gonna surprise Michael. So Michael has no idea, but my guess is she's going to be super excited. She's going to really get into this. We'll see if I can read her properly, but when I come back with the paint, I'm going to tell her, let's, let's go. It's go time. Now I got to find the paint, the right stuff. We want to go white. All right, we're going with exterior interior contractor Tropical. All right, there's a lot of packages. I don't know how we're gonna get it all on the motorcycle. How many packages? This might be a record, huh? I think it's eight. Let me see. Eight? How do you say record in Spanish? Record. Record? Record. <laughs> Ooh. Cinco. Cinco. Oh. Big plans for all this stuff. Bathroom stuff. It's gonna be hard to carry all this. Thanks for your help, Bruce. We're gonna try to bungee all that down. Uh -huh. 
So far so good. Time to head back to the boat, surprise Michael with the paint, show her the pillows. I think the pillows are gonna make her most excited. It's either the pillows or the shower. I think I'm most excited about, it's not even a shower, it's a lawn and garden sprayer, but it's gonna change the game for us because we've been taking showers out of a, a, like a cup, using a cup and a bucket basically. Babes! Hey Lola. Hey. Hi girl. <laughs> wow. I've got some stuff for you. Hello? Ugh. Those are so oh. much better than the pillows we've been working with. It just came out. I know, that one was struggling. This one's come. Hand me the other one. Yeah. One. Just find some good places to set stuff because we're going to be doing this for a while. The shower. That's right. What? Oh, yep. Is this. That's the surprise. We're gonna... Today we paint. Oh. We start the painting. We just. Oh my god. That was about $16. That's Indoor, crazy. outdoor, acrylic, white. Oh, that's. There's plenty of it. I got one gallon for now. We can go back. That'll definitely get us started. I waited on doing the dishes this morning because I was pretty sure we were about to get a drain rack for our dishes in the mail. Guys, check it out. We have this new dish drainer dry rack. I still don't know what it's called, but that's a game changer. We're pretty excited about that. Doing dishes is still not exciting, not a whole lot of fun, but drying them is awesome. Okay, I think most people are gonna be distracted by the duct tape and stuff, but that tacky looking thing behind you, what's going on there? Maybe we should explain. <laughs> Our recent boat upgrade, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot darker in here than it normally is. Um, we realized that the boat was a hell of a lot hotter than it needed to be, and it's getting hot here in the Caribbean. We're nearing the middle of May, and we realized if we cover up the windows, we prevent the sun from getting in, it stays so much cooler in here, like probably 10 degrees cooler with these taped on the windows, so it looks tacky. Because this was demo. We decided, effective. we just want to see if it's effective right. before we figure out a permanent solution. And it right. is effective. But now we gotta make it look maybe a little better than that. That's low on the priority list, I gotta admit. Even for me, it's sad, but. But we're about to paint. What's yeah. the point of painting then? I mean, that's the same thing. It's gonna look terrible. Yeah, we're gonna have a nice painted boat with duct tape. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I gotta learn how to sew up some curtains, guys. Let's get a closer look here. That's nice. What are you working on now, Michael? I'm scraping off adhesive that's left over from when all of this was vinyl. Got the inverter, charge controller, just so we can get to the, all of the surfaces there. Finally! It's a beautiful fiberglass job there. That was one of our first. It was our first soft spot there. And we're finally gonna paint it. It's been riding raw. Even a tape job can be extreme. That's right. I got sliced. I was up under here. I don't really know what happened. All of a sudden I was just bleeding out of my thumb really bad. I think I rubbed against one of these bolts that was sticking out as I was sliding some tape over. You know, that perfect tape job. Ah! All right, why don't you catch us up? That doesn't look white to me. So, funny white. story, everybody. Looks like peach. Joel went to the hardware store to get some paint. He was gonna surprise me, because we've been talking about painting the boat for ages. I'm really excited about it. And he pulled the trigger and he bought some paint and he thought it was white, but it turns out it's peach colored. And he was gonna go trade it in for some white paint, but I was like, what the hell? Let's give it a go, and I'm so glad we did because I love it, and I never would have picked this color. All right, this here is the piston to our Groco K-style head. These are the parts, these two little plastic pieces. We had to wait over a month for these things, so we got really good at using the bucket. But we're really hoping with these new piston rings, we're going to be in business. Oh. 
<laughs> ah. Ah. So this is not an eighth inch, unfortunately. It's just too big to fit. Now what you see here is the pump to our toilet. We've been battling this toilet. It is my arch nemesis. Um, so this has proven to be difficult. We got the piston rings in. We were so excited. And then we're trying to move the piston up and down. And this thing is just, it's not moving the piston. So take everything apart and you realize there's no key in this keyway. Somehow I put it back together, didn't put the key in. <sighs> wow. Um, and this is, if you want it, um, a measurement device. So okay. you can measure you know, how thick it is and how oh, thick nice. you get it. So okay. you can do inside okay. and outside measurements. So, yeah. 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 Anyway, all right. Thanks, like, Andrew. All right. um, we'll Thank you. I'll be back a bit later if you need anything else. If you do need anything else, just yell out. Yeah. Uh, can you get me a line? I want to tie something around my wrist and around this tool here. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> These Dremels always come in handy. We just use the Dremel to finish it off. We got our 1 8 inch key. This looks like it's going to work. Slides in nice. This might be a little loose, but I think this this will play. We're going to give it a try. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, that was louder than I thought. We finally got a working toilet after all this time. I had no idea who was going to do that and neither did Lola. Trying to spice things up a bit. Keep it raw. Keep it real. Oh my god. But that's a big fat lie. The toilet is not working. We finally gave up on the grill co. I'm not even going to get in the details. It just didn't work in the end. So we're done with the grill co. But we got in hold with Greg. He's the VP of Raritan. It's a different brand of toilet. We actually have a used Raritan also on the boat that we're trying to get working. He's going to send us a complete rebuild kit and that's already on the way. So, oh yeah. So that was the lie. If you guessed, we finally got a working toilet. You were right. Nice job. <laughs> All right. So if that's the lie, obviously the pink boat is the truth. I got to be honest, it's more of a peachy pink. It's a nice, soft, warm color and we're really happy with that. So we didn't really show you all of the paintwork that we did, but we took a lot of pictures and you can check those out on our Instagram, Bums on a Boat. We've got some cool before after shots that you can see there. This is probably the best before after yeah. section. This is the part of the boat that we call the crevice and it's looking way better than it ever has. I'm going in the crevice! <laughs> so last but not least, it is true that we are planning a 12 day passage for Grenada. <laughs> We're on the list along with our friends Bill and Dana Lee on SV Caterpillar. Bill, Dan Bill, Dana Lee, and Drew on SV Caterpillar were on the list. Our scheduled arrival date is around the first week in July, so we pretty much need to leave here no later than June 20th. And today is May 26th. Quickly, we're pretty recent because we lost our laptop. She died, but we got a new one. And thanks to our neighbor, Bill, he let us use his computer to get the last episode out and we're patching things up and we're going to get right back on track. Yeah, so this episode might be a little out there, but at least we got it and we're able to bring it to you and we didn't miss a week. So we're really fortunate about that. All right. And one other news that is allowing us to go for Grenada is the fact that we got all of the parts for our engine in. Finally. So we're ready to put the engine back together, get it in one piece, make sure it runs, see if that alternator and the elbow and everything is working perfectly. I hope, you know, it would be nice for that to happen just once, something to work perfectly on the first try. You never know, so stay tuned. That's going to be coming up pretty soon. But not next, because next is an epic Q&A. That's right. Q&A coming up next week. Subscribe. Hit the bell. What else? What <laughs> Give else? us a like and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. No, Thanks. there's a there's one other thing we gotta what? mention. Oh. And that's the fact that if you show up in Luperon and walk into the patio and mention bums on a boat, our friend Andrew is gonna give you not one free beer, but two free beers and a plate of hot wings. Only on your first visit. That's a crazy deal. You just so. gotta say bums on a boat sent us. Our good friend Andrew, he's going to hook you up. And at the patio, the hot wings are great. I love the hamburger. 
beers are beers everywhere you go, but a free beer is amazing. So Cold beer can't beat that. If you're ever in Luperon, stop by the patio. That's right. <laughs> check you next time. All right. Later, check, alligator. Check you later. Was that pretty cool? After a while, crocodile. Is that a good sign off? Check you later. It's it's okay. These are the tales of Boab. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?